Hello everyone and welcome to the last rune in the first set or a set or whatever. They're grouped into three. So there is, you know, 24, eight per section. We've gone through the first section now. We're on the very last one. So let's jump into it. So this is Wunyo and much like the race us where I was saying how it had the equal parts. This one is the opposite. Wunyo really does look like a P, so the triangle is directly off of the top of the stick line of the letter, really over explaining it. But because there is the difference between the two, I thought it'd be appropriate to really point that out. Especially again if you're new, much like I still very much am new, but when I was trying to decipher between Feihu and Ansus, similarly with Theresas and Munyo, which for a P-shape being the W one, it's kind of a little bit trippy. So anyways, this is also another of the good runes. It did have like some negative things to it, whereas Gibo really didn't have any of that. But for the most part, it's just kind of like, if this goes bad, you know, it's the reverse of these things. But for the most part, this is a rune that when it comes up, it's for positivity. So what this rune rules over, joy and happiness, and just like following your bliss. It's kind of that shift that's been needing to happen. And like, now it's here, you're, you're at that new place. <laughs> they described it as the wheel of karma is in your favor. Success, the absence of trouble, to have adequate resources and the ability to protect those. This one, I'm just gonna read it. Perfection of the process of creation will and security. Specifically, they worded it as happiness is found within the security of the stronghold, which basically to me means that your needs are being met. It's really hard to be happy and joyful when you can't afford groceries and you need to have a running car because yours is very unreliable or you're not sure if you're gonna have the money to pay your heating bill in the middle of winter. This is the room that is like, everything's gonna be taken care of. You can afford these things. Are you gonna live in a mansion and have like, you know, eight to 10 cars that cost upwards of $500,000 a piece? No. Are you going to have a reliable car, a house that doesn't have a lot of like major repairs needing to be done? Yes, that kind of a vibe. You're not necessarily gonna be living the life of luxury, but you might not be struggling as much. So gods associated with this are Frey, and again, specifically because he is like the god of bounty and joy and happiness and like the stability that comes with it. Odin, 90% of these runes, I feel like it's just gonna be Odin. But specifically in this rune, it's him as kind of almost like the gift giver. And if we think of Odin in modern terms, not reconstructionism, Odin as the Santa figure, where he is the bringer of gifts and joy and just that Christmassy feeling we have. If you, you know, aren't super bummed out by the consumerism of it, I personally love it. I love giving gifts. That is my love language, so it is a great time for me. So I think of Odin in like that aspect and also like just providing for people and obviously a good leader would provide for their, you know, their people, the head of the household, you're providing for your family and all of that jazz, that side of Odin. Also the Valkyries, which I reread it like four times. I still don't know why, because I think of Valkyries as like the people, like the, the deities that are like under like the equivalent of like Morrigan and you're on the battlefield and you're picking up the soldiers and being like, you're mine. And like, they are the ones working for Freya in that aspect where she's like, Half go to Odin, half go to me, pick out the good ones, go. So I'm like, how, 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 okay. One day we will we will deep dive into, well, deepish dive, into the deities and things of Norse and other pantheons, I'm sure, because I would still love to learn more about the Irish and things um, and the Welsh and, you know, the gods I work with, Rhiannon and Morrigan and Odin. Like, I want to know a little bit more of what they're coming from, but we're not there yet. So for now, apparently the Valkyries. So colors associated to this rune, 
I just, and I don't know if it's because this just happened and they did mention this quite a bit. I feel like this rune is heavily associated with Yule. The gift giving, the joy, the cozy, the feeling security and stuff like that in your home and like wanting to have that security in your home. And so I kind of picked those vibes. Like when you have the things you need, your basic and moderate needs are met. I mean, obviously, you know, like you have running water, you have your heat and blah, 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 but like your food options kind of suck. So like the moderate, we're like, you might not have every food item that you would love to have in your house and it's like fully, fully stocked, but like you have food that'll last until your next paycheck. You have some that are like your treat foods and fun things and everything's feeling cozy and you're happy with your family and all of that jazz. All of those vibes that come around the holidays and like loved ones around and everything, those vibes. So naturally the colors I'm thinking of is like the warm glow from like your lights and so like kind of a softer yellow versus like flashy like sun white yellow or like gold yellow like just more of like a cozy <laughs> which I don't know if that's like a color option or like the glowing yellow you know that color <laughs> and also I'm just thinking of like the greens and reds of Yule and then also white for like the possibility of everything and like the white of snow. I don't know, again, if that's just because like the Yule season just happened, but that's the vibes I'm getting from this room. And again, the color associations and stuff is just my thing anyways, so take with it what you will. Runes to combine, we have Radiho, again, probably not pronouncing any of these correctly, or Iwas for fortunate or pleasant journeys, Ansu's for good news, Kinas for artists or creative people, that creativity is very important to your happiness and well-being. Theresas, the power or realization of true will. Ways to use this rune to bless your Yule feast. Emotional or interpersonal healing. Mind and body working together. Aid the body in healing. General purpose luck rune. Draw on the forehead to help lift depression. It's said to just lift depression, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know if the runes are like that strong because mental illness is not curable by just magical means. There's other things that have to go into it, but it might help you as just another tool option in your toolkit for dealing with it. And it governs making of bind runes, which I thought was kind of interesting that that's like the base one because it was just like casually just like tossed in there and I'm like, I feel like that could have been a higher priority of conversation, but okay. We haven't gotten into bind runes, so that's going to be much later on, but there we are. Apparently it's going to rule over that. And so this concludes the first set of runes. Eight completed, done. We've learned about them. We've made it. I've made it further than I ever had in trying to make in this series. So hopefully we will continue the process. I'm feeling pretty confident that we will get there. So I hope you have enjoyed learning about these ones and we will be moving on to the next set. So thank you for coming along for learning the runes and we shall continue with it as we move on to the next set. So thank you so much for watching. And of course, if you want any additional content, it's available on my Patreon. I am posting pretty regularly over there, so I definitely recommend you go check it out. And until next time, uh, I haven't worded the sentence properly to end with and learning the runes. So, bye.